Hello and welcome! This is Edison T. Crux, ETC, and, uh... Let's play some Chrono Trigger. Now, I can't speak for any of you guys, but this, seriously, was one of my all-time favorite games growing up. Like, I, I was a huge fan when it was on the SNES, came out on PlayStation, had to buy it. Just, if no other reason, because there was cutscenes now. Cutscenes! <laughs> And, um, as soon as it came out for DS, and I heard they had, like, new stuff, new dungeons, I was like, oh, gotta pick that up now, too, because this is just, this is too cool. You know, I love Chrono Trigger. Uh, not only, you know, is the artwork cool, I've always been an Akira Toriyama fan, ever since, ever since Dragon Ball Z, yeah, I'll admit I was a fan. Um... All the way through, like I say, Chrono Trigger. Love the artwork. I love the characters. I love the story. And, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I, I'm really looking forward to playing this game. So, this here we have the DS version of the game, is what we're playing today. Because it's got some new stuff, and I haven't even had a chance to explore all of it. I haven't, you know, rigorously unlocked all the endings, and it should be a good time. So, uh,. Let's play some Chrono Trigger. Such a great game. I love these cutscenes they added. Really did a good job. All right. Let's Get this going. You're gonna start a new game. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. All right. Chrono. Yeah, let's go with that. Do, do. Classic seagulls. Gunfire. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. First thing I think of. Some of you comments in one of my Minecraft videos to hear cops in the background. Like I say, Rockford's kind of a tough town. I don't hear, uh, you know, celebrations there. I hear gunfire! Instinctively, I duck and cover. <laughs> Chrono! 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 You still asleep? Yeah, Mom. Still asleep. Sleepy had time to get up. Dude. I don't care how beautiful Lean's Bell is. Let me sleep some more. Gosh. Yeah, that's it. I was so excited about the Millennial Fair last night that I couldn't sleep. Sure. Or the fact that, obviously I have the day off, and you're waking me up first thing in the morning. Not cool, Mom. Not cool. Dude. Give me a break. Alright. Well, I'm up now. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah! It's so not beautiful. There's nothing beautiful about the morning. <laughs> Let's just go cruising around here. It's about time. By the way, you're going to see... What's her name again? Oh. Now, I thought about giving all the characters, you know, weird, crazy names, you know, like... I don't know. I don't even know. Just some kind of... Bizarre... Bizarre names, you know, like... I don't know. But just, like, I decided against it, because, like, say... So I decided I was going to name, uh, 
Name what's her face here? Name Luca Betsy or something, something silly like that, right? Well, that might be kind of random, you know, kind of fun. But then, if I'm talking throughout my game and I'm like, hey, yeah, make some joke about Betsy, well, someone just jumps in the middle. Who am I talking about? So I decided, you know. I'd rather just stick with the original names, so that all the jokes I make can use their real name. Thought that would work better. So, we're going purely uh, with the stock names here. Purely for, um, for joking purposes. Stop by and see your new invention at the fair, aren't you? Now, I really wonder something. Now, has anyone ever wondered, where does Chrono's mom sleep? Seriously, there's one room up here. See? Let's recap. My room. And you see I got my little, looks like a radio, I got my lamp and a typewriter? No, that can't be right. Got a book. Needs a big screen TV, but otherwise it's a pretty cool pad up there, but... Where's mom sleep? Is this some kind of like, I don't know, hidden passageway somewhere? Maybe behind this couch? No, that's not it. Well... Let's go check out this fair, right? Since I'm up and awake. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check out the fair. Do, 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 do. Hi, dude. Today is the 1,000th one, one anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Wow. That's a pretty big deal. So how are we going to celebrate? Well... Let's have a bunch of weird aliens and cats and dudes in armor run around town. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Hey, dude. Melchior the swordsmith at your service. Why do I get the strange feeling that you're going to be important later? Who knows? Take a look. Oh, sure. I'm always up for looking at a sword. Eh. Kind of pricey. Really pricey. Now, back in the day, I had actually played some saves where I had just hung out at the fair long enough to get enough gold for this silver sword. And I felt really cool about that, until I realized that it just made the game really easy, and, I don't know, I felt a little like I worked way too hard for not nearly enough work. Ooh, pretty girl. Hmm, hi there. The look, boom! <laughs> totally not an accident. I'm so sorry, are you okay? Yeah, baby, I'm fine. How are you? Looking around. Yeah, you really can't see the glowing pendant-y thing over here? I think she needs glasses. Yeah, I'll do the gentlemanly thing and give it to her. Thank goodness, my pendant! Can I have it back? Um, okay, she's pretty. I guess I should give it to her. She is, uh, pretty. Thank you! Yeah, awfully boring and wandering around alone, isn't it? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yes? Sure will. How can you say no to that? It's, um, um, it's never a good sign when she has to think about what her name is. I mean, have you guys ever done that? I've, you know, well, I have for very different reasons, but if someone asked me my name, I had to pause and think about it. Maybe you just didn't want to tell me your real name. You want to come up with something on the spot, you know? contest! Yeah, yeah! Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it! Six! Is that the best you can do? <laughs> what can I say? I can't help in front of a pretty girl. I gotta, gotta try and press her. <laughs> My kitty ran away. Oh. That sucks, kid. You know, I remember when I was when I was a kid and I played this game. 
Sorry, get distracted by the awesome music. Uh, but when I was a little kid and I did this game, you know, it, the fact that, like, the stuff you did here, like, had consequences later, you know, like, if you were nice and helped the, helped the kid out and gave Marley her, uh, her pendant and, you know, we're generally a good guy, it would, you know, it would do something later. Um. And it always was like, yeah, everything's got consequences, life has meaning, karma, you know, when you're a kid, that, that, you know, that matters, you know? You're like, you feel like there's consequences, and now that I'm older, you realize that it doesn't really matter what you do. Um, but still, let's just, you know, let's be the hero here. Cat, get out of my way. You know, let's let's be that genuinely good Samaritan guy. If that cat can't follow me, then it's got its own problems. If it can get away from its owner in the first place, it probably is, should be smart enough to follow me. Maybe it just really doesn't want to go back. I don't know what kind of owner that kid is. I don't know what kind of situation this cat is in. How it was treated. <laughs> That's right. I'm sweet. But... Oh. But I am pretty hungry. Yum! I'm such a pig. Oh, man. I shouldn't have done that in front of the girl. Straight ahead, you want to try your hand against Luca's bipedal robot battler, Gato. You can win silver points! Hello, Gato. They call me Gato. I have metal joints. Beat me up. You'll learn 15 silver points. I once heard a remake of that. Of that song. Someone did. I think it was on like Overclocked Remix. One of those kind of things. Ow, ow, ow. Yikes. They, um. They remixed that song and made it just this, like, I don't even remember. Now I gotta go find that song, seriously. But, like, they made it, like, some lounge remix where you just think, My name is Gato, I have to joints. And they changed the wording a little bit in the, the DS version here, and that's kind of, that's kind of lame. One thing you can do to really annoy old-school video game fans is to remake their game with new dialogue. Because, I mean, a lot of times I get it. Dialogue in a lot of the old games is kind of bad. You know, we were still figuring out that um, translations are intended to be a loose translation. So, we kind of did things literal, or I don't even know what it was. But, point is, we all know, old games, there was some really bad dialogue in there. So, it doesn't really surprise me that they changed some of it, but come on, most of us grew up and we love that stuff, you know? That was like what we grew up with, the bad dialogue. It's like a, it's a part of our life. Well, I guess I might as well play it around at the fair. There's a race! Yeah. What's this? Come one, come all to the Tent of Horrors! Spend your silver points here! That's a really good campaign slogan. Let's go check this out. That's not at all creepy. Welcome to Norstein Beckner's Tent of Horrors. The spine-tingling show is just about to start. It. Creepy. How many silver points would you like to spend? Well, I'd really like to spend none. But, uh, I don't think that's going to be an option, so, spend ten. Not. Okay. I'm Biggs. Good for you, dude. I'm Wedge. I'm Payette. Which one is Payette? Uh, oh, jeez, I was supposed to be paying attention? Um, uh, uh... Um, uh, I, um, um, you? I don't know, I'm just shooting the dark here. I'm wedge. Oh, man! 
That was the lamest tent I've ever been to. Seriously. Oh man. So wait, Luca's last invention blew up and they let her come back to do another? Gossip? Oh wait, oh no, I want to hear this gossip! Well, just between us, I heard that the king is tearing his hair out over his tomboy of a daughter. Really? Just once, I'd like to meet her and see how wild she really is. Uh huh, I bet you would. I bet you would. What do you think, Marley? Would you like to see how wild that daughter really is? Hehe. <laughs> Just a minute, I want some candy. <sighs> Seriously? <sighs> hey, give me a second to cheat. Oh, man. This was probably one of the most realistic things in this whole game. Yeah. Alright, fine. Uh... And it's always that way, too. It's not just that she wants some candy. But she's gonna stare there and look at the options for like way too long while you're sitting in line like, oh, come on, there are better things we can be doing than this. Oh well, like watching some kind of sweet invention that might blow up? I'm not gonna miss that. Step right on up, any, any with the time and courage. Our first ever hyperdimensional transporter is the invention of the century. Hyperdimensional transporter? Simply hop up here, and you'll be teleported here. This fantastic machine is the masterwork of my beautiful and brilliant daughter, Luca. Hi. Crow! No one wants to try my telepod. Uh, if you didn't have a reputation for blowing stuff up at these things, maybe they'd volunteer. Oh, would I be so mad? God. I'll watch it. Oh, great. I'm such a sucker. Seriously. Gulp. The things I'll do for women. Oh, boy. Initiating energy transfer! Holy smokes! Whoa! Holy cojoles! Dude, it worked! Yeah, I want to try that again. Hold on there. So wait, you're telling me that this girl, who can't be more than like 20, 25, what, I don't even know. For all we know, these could be teenagers. I don't know, but she just invented a transporter that just moved me in some big shiny flash of light from over here to over here. Mind you, I don't even have a plasma TV in my room, and yet this girl's over here making transporters? Well, what, does that just blow anyone else's mind, or is it just me? You wanna try it too? Hey, Luca, can you make her teleport it to my teleport her to uh to my house? I'm gonna just pick up a cutie like her. Yeah, I just rammed into her on the street. If I knew that would have worked, I would have tried it a long time ago. This vision of loveliness steps aboard the machine. He didn't ask if I want to change my mind. Yeah. Apparently they don't mind if I accidentally get blown up, but uh... But Marley, that's a whole nother story. Here we go. Here we go. What's happening? Oh, shuckle. What's going on? What? What? Dude. 
why didn't it do anything that cool when I went in it? Uh... That was supposed to happen, right guys? Right? Right? That was... Part of the show, right? Did you seriously just vaporize my new girlfriend? Seriously. Well, maybe you shouldn't be playing with some kind of nuclear physics that you don't know what it's gonna do. Or at least test it when a girl's wearing jewelry before you put it on display at the fair. What do you think? said that. How am I supposed to know? You're the genius who put this thing together. Huh. Well, at least I can take this this thing. Chrono what? It was just li li sitting there, okay? I was gonna return to her, I promise. Wait, what? Going after her? No, I, I never said that. I was just gonna take this to a pawn shop. It's the only way. Wait. Hold wait, hold on. I, I didn't agree to this, guys. It's worth a shot. Wait. Wait, whoa, 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 slow down, no, 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 no systems activated, I did not agree to this. Wait, no, don't initiate the energy transfer. Guys, guys, seriously, I was just trying to make a quick buck here, okay? No, no, no more power, no more power, not Roger. Oh, snap, this is not looking good. Um, uh, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Good luck! Yeah, thanks! Thanks for nothing! Good luck! Throw me into this thing! For all you know, this is like, vaporizes you. It doesn't even send you anywhere. Ah! Ah! Is this just what it's like to die? Oh, man. Ah! Uh... Where am I? I'm not in Kansas anymore. What is that rustling noise? Oh shoot! It's the Munchkins, dude. I'm really not in Kansas anymore. Seriously? Did that guy just drop kick me in the shin, and that's all it took to take me out? Got oh! Oh my! Brr. Did that seriously just go down that way? God, oh! Well, that was kind of lame. Um, in conclusion, guys, I think I'm going to go have a serious talk with my friend Luca and um, try and not be so beat up next time. Uh, so until next time, uh, yeah. I'm kind of dead and in limbo over here. Um. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see if I can pull some time travel magic and, uh, try that again. So, until next time, avoid those munchkins!